What's up guys, Tom here from Bogus Breeze Golf and today I'll be showing you guys how to install a grip with an air hose. So what you're going to need is an air hose, obviously. Um, this little attachment right here that you can pick up off of eBay for somewhere around 20 bucks is what I got it for. Obviously going to need an air compressor over there. Um, you're going to need a hook blade knife, grip tape, possibly masking tape, grip solvent, uh, this little vice clamp or it shaft clamp and it, it goes in the vice, which you also need a vice, and obviously your new grip. So first thing you want to do is find your club that you're going to use. So I found my club that I want to use and I'm going to grab the rubber clamp and clamp it onto the shaft like so. You're going to want to stick it inside the vise here. Slide this up as far as you can so you have room to work with. And tighten the vise down. Don't be afraid of tightening it too far because it's really hard to tighten it too far. So you're never going to, you're more than likely never going to crush the, the shaft unless you're absolutely trying to. So you're going to want to grab your hook blade knife and cut right down the shaft here, or right down the, uh, the grip, the front of the grip. Now the importance of the hook blade is so you don't dig into the shaft. Not as important on steel shafts, but really, really important on graphite shafts that you do not dig into the shaft, or else it could compromise the strength of the shaft. So, Now if the grip was previously installed with air, you could use the air hose to blow the grip right off, but these were not. So I have to take them off the old-fashioned way. Okay, so now that the grip is removed, you can just throw that aside. Then now the next thing you want to do is remove the grip tape, um, depending on how many wraps of tape you want underneath of your grips. I prefer two, but this already has two on it, so I'm going to have to remove them both, and then you guys will see the next step. So now we have all of the grip tape removed, and like I said, I like two wraps of tape. So I'm going to grab my masking tape and start wrapping masking tape around the, the shaft where the original tape was. Um, you could do this with grip tape, but grip tape is kind of expensive, so that is why I'm not using it for this step. Masking tape has just about the same diameter, so you can use this. And I typically like to do it in like a spiral pattern across the shaft here. Make sure that there are no little lumps. It is okay if the masking tape overlaps just a little bit. Just make sure that the, the masking tape does not have any lumps in it when you wrap it. get to the end of the shaft you can just tear off the um, masking tape and finish it like so like I didn't do a perfect job here there's a little bit of space in between here but that is fine there's also a little bit of over overlap on some of these that is fine next you're gonna want to grab your your grip tape I peel one side of the grip tape uh, off so one side is sticky and place it over top of the shaft here with about half of an inch hanging off the end. Press that on. 
and take off the top. Like so. Next you're going to want to wrap this bottom part all the way around underneath of the shaft being careful that it folds correctly and um, doesn't bunch up. And then you're going to want to do the same with the top. And the reason we left this half inch at the very end is that you want to fold it inside the shaft like so inside the butt end of the shaft so that water does not get in and rust your shaft cell. At this point you're going to want to turn on your compressor and I will skip to the, when the compressor already has all of the air that it needs. Okay so now that the, uh, the compressor has all the air that it needs to do this we have our tool here ready to go. We've got air coming out of it. You're going to want to take your grip solvent and spray it inside of the, the grip just a little bit and rub it around just the tip here. Next you're going to want to spray the rest of the grip tape on your shaft so it's slightly damp and get it started right on the very end of the shaft here. Okay, so we've got it about an inch or so on. You're going to want to put the, uh, the tool into the butt end of the grip here and squeeze the trigger lightly and then push. It may take a few tries. So my grip has gotten stuck. So what you're going to want to do is spray a little bit more grip tape here at the end where it has gotten stuck and try again. So it is most of the way on now, and you can just wiggle the rest of the grip right up on the So yeah, the grip is all the way on now. Now you can take it out of the vise, undo the shaft band here, and align the grip, or the little line on the grip right here, to your club head as you please. And after that is done, you are finished. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and check back for more golf videos like this. I'm Tom from Bogey's Golf. Thanks for watching.